So we're going to look at a calculating formal charge or using formal charge to determine the number of non-bonding electrons. These are both important skills when you're learning to draw Lewis structures. So we've got to be able to keep track of charge and keep track of non-bonding electrons. So we'll start with calculating the formal charge. Formal charge uses this equation at the top of the page. Valence electrons on the atom minus, you can either do the number of bonds or half the bonding electrons, minus the non-bonding electrons. So we'll go through a few examples here. So carbon, if you look on the periodic table, has four valence minus three bonds, or if you count the not, um, bonding electrons, remember there's two electrons per bond, so half the bonding electrons is three, minus two non-bonding electrons. So in this case, this is a minus one, this is a carbon ion. On this central carbon, we'll do the same thing, four minus three, minus one non-bonding, and that's zero. This is a radical, and it doesn't have a charge on it. It's not stable, it's a reactive intermediate. It, you'll see at some point, but right now, just know that it's neutral. This carbon is four minus three bonds, and it has no non-bonding, and so this has a positive one. So this is a carbocation. Now this molecule has a number of atoms. So in, if you really want to calculate this, you need to do every individual atom. So this is carbon. It's got four bond, valence minus four bonds and no non-bonding. So this one is neutral. This oxygen is six minus two bonds minus four, so it's neutral. This carbon, it's got a four bonds, so I'm just gonna do a shortcut. Carbon with four bonds, no non-bonding is gonna be neutral. And then the fourth atom here is an oxygen with six valence minus one bond, minus six non-bonding. And so this one has a minus one. And so this, to then calculate the charge on the overall, molecule, we have to add them up. And in this case, it's easy. Three of them are neutral and this one's minus. So this has an overall minus charge on that molecule. And then another one, boron, has three valence, minus four bonds, and no non-bonding. So this has a minus one on that boron. So there's a number of practice problems. Go um, practice trying to calculate formal charge on each of these atoms, on each of the molecules given. And then we're going to do the uh, different skill on this page. You're going to calculate the number of missing electrons on the atoms. So this is using the same formula. Formal charge is equal to the valence electrons minus the number of bonds minus non-bonding electrons. But now we know the charge. So we're going to solve for non-bonding. So if I look at this molecule, there's no charge listed on it. And we know carbon, if it's got four bonds, right? Four bonds, and if it's neutral, um, and it has four valence, this is gonna have no non-bonding electrons on it. But for the oxygen, if it's neutral, and it's got six valence minus two bonds, we're solving for how many non-bonding electrons. And so this needs to be four. So we'll draw in the lone pairs on the oxygen. And we get lazy as we get comfortable with drawing Lewis structures. You're gonna see organic chemists often don't draw those lone pairs and you need to know that they're there. So here's another one. We've got carbon with its four bonds. So we're not going to pay much attention to it, but we've got to look at the nitrogen and the oxygen. So if the nitrogen is neutral, zero, and it has five valence minus three bonds, it has to have, this is for the nitrogen, 
two non-bonding electrons. So we can draw those on that nitrogen. And then the oxygen is similar. For oxygen, we have zero charge and it has six valence minus two bonds. So once again, we're gonna need four non-bonding electrons. And you'll see these patterns emerge. Nitrogen with three bonds and two non-bonding electrons is the usual neutral state for nitrogen. Oxygen, two bonds, four non-bonding. So carbon, four bonds, no charge, we're fine. Same for this carbon. This oxygen, two bonds. You can do the same calculation, but it's this over again. It's gonna have two non-bonding pairs, four non-bonding electrons. But now we have a carbon with a minus charge over here. So minus one equals four valence minus three bonds minus our question mark here. So four minus three is one, but I need to get to negative one. So this has to be two. So this has a two non-bonding electrons on it. It's the same formula, but we're just solving for a different uh, variable unknown. So again, there's another page of these practice problems in your workbook. There's also some in the online text. Go try draw, finding, if you know the charge, go find the number of non-bonding electrons on that atom. This just takes a practice.